Hey Bayek, it's me Ian. and in today's video I'm continuing my look at the Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection Box Set and this is Rear Window from 1954 and this is considered one of his great all-time great films so let's get into it it's 111 minutes long Rotten Tomatoes give it 98% which I think reflects the um, critical acclaim it received at the time and continues on reassessment and it's been really re-released before in the past it is considered one of his best works um, now the screenplay is by John Michael Hayes and it's based on It Had To Be Murder, a 1942 um, short story in Dime Detective um, by Cornell Walsh. And the music is by Franz Waxman. He was an award-winning um, composer. Um, but here is, he does the first, um, opening credits um, we get the jazz wonderful jazz soundtrack on that and then we get the piano theme tune um, at various stages that we have been composed we get that's beautiful and then and then also the end sequences um, but then the music in between is often snatches of music bits of music and also with the soundtrack is also much of the sounds which he wanted to get in that you might get in an apartment block. Okay. Um, so uh, it's director, of course, uh, by Alfred Hitchcock, because that's why we're studying all these films. So, yes, that's that. Now, um, the film was shot um, on the Paramount Studio lot, basically. Um, it was built, these sets of the apartment, and it worked well. That They did such a great job. They built all this, constructed it, so you get the sound and the look and everything about it. And, it, of course, they could use the, his camera work uh, on this, the way he was able to direct the film. It's very much involved in this uh, construction perfect it was and they did such a good job okay um now um let's look at the cast we've got james stewart again james stewart i don't need to go into too much detail about james stewart do i really what um an actor um he fits in perfectly for these um hitchcock films he worked well with hitchcock and he's really good i mean this performance is better um than what i've seen him uh really he's so good in this he, i think the audience really identifies with him and um to me it's it's um a much better performance uh he did his best with what he had in um robe but this one well, he's just great in it. The audience totally identifies with him. Uh, then we've got Grace Kelly, who plays Lisa. She is beautiful. I, there's no she. If you want to represent a, an actress who represented that Hollywood beauty, and and, and of course she was a blonde, which is what Hitchcock used to love. For his lead actresses and she's really a legend is um grace kelly as we know she went on to uh marry a prince of monaco and gave up acting to become a princess and um it's all a, it's like a fairy tale legend 
And she's so beautiful, but she was such a good person as well. The the work she did, the the charities, and it's so sad. You know, I you know when I read that she died in a car crash, like another famous uh, princess, um, in nine um nineteen eighty two. She was only fifty two years old, as well. Very sad that. But if we look at her Hollywood career, it's she was in a lot of films that are stand out. But she she was uh, in High Noon, which is well thought of, 1952. She was in another Hitchcock film, same year as this, Dial N for Murder, 1954. Uh, and she was also in another Hitchcock film, To Catch a Thief, 1955. That's with Cary Grant. And she was in also a very famous musical, um, High Society from 1956. That's got um, and I've been Crosby on it, Frank Sinatra. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful um, musical of that era, that golden age, that glamour. She is that kind of actress. And the camera loves her, Hitchcock loves her clearly, you can see. And She's a good actress. She really is. She's excellent and adds a lot to this role. I really like her. And who wouldn't? Who wouldn't like her in this? Then we've got Wendell Corey playing um, the detective, um, Detective Doyle. Um, he was in uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Presents, 1958. He was in a wonderfully titled film, Women of the Prehistoric Planet, a sci-fi film from 1966. you got to love those titles, haven't you? And then he was in um, the uh, the last film we did, um, The Astro Zombies. <laughs> yes, 1968, a sci-fi horror B-movie, I think. It's, yes, I just thought I'd put that in. Um, yes, he, he was in a lot of these uh, things, you know, uh, from that era. Not necessarily very big roles, but he's there, he's in them. And there we are. Um, and then we've got Themela Ritter playing Stella. And she is a very well-respected character actress she was. She really was very well-respected. Hitchcock really liked, I think. Um, just films that she's in. She again, only not very big roles, but she was in a lot of films. She was in Miracle on the Thirty Fourth Street, nine forty seven, which is quite a good Christmas film. That one. Uh, she was in an American version of Titanic, nineteen fifty three, which I don't think is as well thought of. But there was a lot of Titanic films. But um, yes, <laughs> she was in their version. Titanic 1953. She was in, now this is a significant film, she was in The Misfits from 1961, which was the last films of Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, that's 1961, The Misfits. She was also in um, Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962, which I absolutely think is a fantastic film. Should I really, I must get a copy of this sometime because I just remember how much I've seen it in the past and how much I've loved it. That's a Burt Lancaster film based on a true story. Um, also, she was in uh, How the West Was Won, which again is a, a classic film of that era. I remember going to see that. And um, she was in, um, I, I just mentioned this, she was in Alfred Hitchcock Prevent, Presents 1956. So she had associations. But she was in all loads of these roles and, um, and on TV as well as on film. Uh, then we've got um, Raymond Burr. Uh, he plays Thorold. And, uh, well, Raymond Burr is a name that you recognise straight Well, I recognise straight away. But just before I get into a reason why... The films that he's perhaps associated with, he was in M uh, from 1951, which was a Joseph Losey remake. I have mentioned this before, of Fritz Lang's 
1931 uh, M. So, wow, that is a, what a film that is. Um, then we, it was in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, 1956. Godzilla, 1985. Okay, so he's saying, yeah, that's good. But in TV terms, he was known as Perry Mason. Now, he did Perry Mason from 1957 to 1966. And then in the um, later years, um, he died in 1993, um, he did all these Perry Mason TV movies that they did. They, there was a phase of always doing these TV movies. But how I knew him was um, as a child and into my teens, we used to watch every Saturday night Ironside, Inspector Ironside. Um, that ran from 1967 to 1975. BBC One, it was a staple diet, you know, all of that era, you know, when you'd have Kojak and um, Ironside. Yes, Ironside, great. It was a detective in a wheelchair. That was the sort of spin of the TV series. Yeah, fantastic it was. Um, what can I say about it? You know? um, but, yeah, in this, his role is, is the buddy, if you have to put it. Yes. Uh, but he, he's very good. Um, so that is the real sort of cast members. So what is this about? Um, it's, well, it's in Greenwich Village, um, Manhattan. And this professional photographer, played wonderfully by James Stewart, has broken his leg. He had this accident. And he spends a lot of his day in his apartment looking out of the window. He's in a wheelchair. And he gets more and more interested, just being nosy, if you want to put it that way, just watching life go on in the apartments around him. Uh, his, his rear window, this is where he's looking out, hence the title of the film, Rear Window. Um, now, in his life, we see uh, there's the nurse that comes in. Um, she is, um, well... She's very much part of his life, uh, coming in, you know, making sure he's okay. And then, of course, his girlfriend, Lisa. So we had Stella, the nurse, and Lisa, who is, of course, played by the beautiful um, Grace Kelly. And she's a socialite, they call her. And, you know, she, there she is, and she's with him. And he's very lucky to have her as his girlfriend. <laughs> yes, uh, definitely. Um and uh, what happens is the story develops that he begins to believe that a cross, where, um, that a murder has been committed by Thorwald and he gets everybody kind of involved to back him up. He's got to develop what actually happened and he's observing and watching it. And this is how it all builds up. It's really fascinating um and how it all reaches to his climax and gets his friend um who he was in the war with who was now a detective he comes in and it's fascinating just watching him it, you know you feel it it people call it it's voyeuristic almost they say it as um because that's what it is in a way you're watching who's not fascinated by watching other people's lives i know i lived in a flat when i was uh, younger and you do sometimes just sit out watching the world go round, and it's outside looking at the other flats. Yeah, it's it's amazing. The strength of this film is that you've got humour in it, wonderful humour. You've got the romance, the beautiful romance in it, and you've also got the tension. The tension is fantastic. And it's all in a brilliant script under Hitchcock's direction. People will go on and lyrically about his direction and quite rightly in many ways because the way it, it is uh, done is just fantastic. Um, and, well, it's, it's just a story that you've got to see. You've got to see it. It's a film that you think... Is it his greatest film? Well, um 
Psycho is still there for me, but it's one that you can watch and really enjoy. Definitely, this is a, a really good, this is perhaps the best we've seen so far um, out of all the films, definitely. It's just a wonderful film. Totally love it. Yes, highly recommended. It's got everything you want. It's here and it's so well done. So before I go, here is the box set again. Yes, we're doing well. We're moving on. <laughs> yes, so there we are. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Then we'll let you know when I produce these videos. And I'll have a look at playlists if you want to see what else I've been doing. And yeah, you should hopefully enjoy all that. Or perhaps you won't. I don't know. And if you like this particular video, please give it a like. It gets it out into algorithms, onto YouTube. And um, if you've got any comments, please put your comments down. I love to read your comments. And it all costs no. You can't say fair and that, can they? Buy it. You can't. Hey, buy it. Anyhow, I've been going on too long, but that's it. That's what I do. Yes. So all i got to say is, I'll see there. I'll see there again.